こんにちは、インターネット。今日の気分はどうですか Hi, Internet. I don't know what that means. It sounded very good, though. It was Japanese. Clearly.、Um, what did you say? It says, How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Yeah. How are you feeling today? You know, I'm good too. Yeah. <laughs>、uh, nothing is really happening. I got you. But life is life. Life is life. That's like saying death is death. Well, life is life and death. And <laughs> death is just death. Yes, it is. Yeah. Anyways, I've been good. I felt a little sick throughout the week, though. Thought I was maybe、I、coming down with the COVID. You said that before. Hey, man, COVID is e- eternal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you could have just been having, you know, you could have been feeling like know, it was like, the flu, maybe. No,、nah, no, I don't know if I had the flu. It was just like throat crap. Okay, you know, so why did like, you think it's COVID? Because it had. Whenever like, I talk to you lately,、stuff. you're like, I felt like I was sick lately. I think I might have come down with COVID. <laughs> it's like, mm hmm, come off it. I don't know if I'm, I'm getting COVID or the cold or just the flu or anything anymore. I thought you、anymore. said you would know. I would know if I have the flu. The flu hits me really hard. So then again, that could be COVID. <laughs> All、okay. I know. Okay, so you don't know I am how not you were feeling.、Terrible. You were just feeling like just everything feeling was a drag.、Bad. I'm just feeling bad, but I'm feeling fine now.、So. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I was also feeling bad. <laughs> My period is on.、Ugh. So、uh, yeah, it's, it's like that, you know? Your moon blood.、Mm. My moon blood? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> you never heard it called that?、Um, Aunt Flo is calling. Right. That's on TV, right? Did I tell you before that they call it? The great aunt,、yes. or something. Is that like Korean or something? I think it's Chinese, but I'm not sure. The great aunt. Yeah, I thought that was funny when I read it in that novel. Anyhow, um yeah, so. We're both feeling bad, but we're still.、Okay. I'm feeling worse, um obviously. <laughs>、okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I'm fine. That's good. I'm going to live. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, yesterday was really bad. Let me just talk about how bad yesterday was, right? I、Go、had、ahead. to poop yesterday. Okay. And it was a bad poop <laughs> on my period. It was a bad one. Oh, okay. It was. <sighs> It's one of those poops that makes you want to give up on life. <laughs> you know? Plus, I, know I had、mean. my period on. <laughs> so it was like all of my energy was just being dragged out of me. And I、yeah. couldn't do anything. And to poop, I had to push. And it was just, it was a sinister energy all around my areas, <laughs> right? <laughs> it, was, it was wrong. <laughs> and I couldn't <laughs> stop.、Um, I couldn't stop the sinister energy from doing, you know, wreaking <laughs> havoc on me. Yeah. Yeah. So when I left the bathroom, I just felt like, you know, like, is, is life really worth living? <laughs> kind of feeling. <laughs> But I'm fine now today. I felt that before. Like, like, you remember, it was a few years back where I had. Like, I don't know. I remember it very clearly. And then、uh, we, we were in my room at the time and we were watching. I think I was showing you some anime that I wanted to show you. Okay. And we were watching it. And then all of a sudden, I just turned to you and was like, oh God, I gotta use the bathroom.、Mm-hmm. So I go and there begins the struggle. Like, yeah. It was the worst I've ever felt. Since and I've never felt anything like that again. Yeah, like, changed my day. I want to say that it was that one that I had yesterday、oh, was definitely in the top like 10, 10. worst shits you've ever yeah, had. <laughs> yeah, because here's the thing the blood is falling out of me, right, Christopher? <laughs> yes, 
I have to push because it's like this hard poop. Okay. And when I push, I get cramp. Mm. So it's like cramping, cramping, and I'm feeling that pain every time that I try to get the poop out of me. So it was like a battle. It's like <laughs> I have to. I I'm gonna suffer either yes. way. Yeah. You know, and I can't keep the poop in me. It's not going to disappear. <laughs> so I had to push, and it was just. It was just like. I just wanted to. I wanted to disappear <laughs> in that moment. <laughs> I want to disappear. <laughs> I, for, well, back to the terrible poop I had a few years ago, because I just I couldn't get it out. Yeah, it Those was just the worst. it just stuck yeah. in me, and I was pushing and pushing, and minutes go by, and I was like, "Oh God, I regret." Every decision that led every to me being right? on this toilet right now. You know? Yeah, yeah. I was just... And then 10 minutes or 15 minutes pass and I'm like crying because it just... <laughs> I didn't get to out. that point. <laughs> I didn't get to that point. Wow. But... Was, Kim, no. This was legit the worst poop I've ever had in my life. Wow. Because when I was done, it was all like clumped together. Like a rock. It was like if I had a rock pass through me. Maybe you did. I I've it changed my diet since then. Like way more fiber in it now. Like, oh god. That was that was a life changing event. It was just ugh. I could still I often I have life changing <laughs> stools as well. <laughs> they really they really make me reflect <laughs> on the kind of person that I am. <laughs> that I want to be in the future, you know? <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like that. It's like the yeah. reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> the reckoning. That's what it is. Anyway. Anyways. Um, I am so going to be able to drink my tea well, even after talking about poop. That's what? fine. What are you drinking? I'm drinking some hot cocoa. I just You're wanted something cocoa? hot and something sweet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm having... You tried this one already, mm-hmm. right? The Tadin Lemongrass. This is my first time trying it. How do you think of it? I like it. It's it's more a sweet lemon yeah. than it is that, you know, kind of sour... Or a bitter lemon. Yeah, yeah. Taste. It's not bad, but I... It's good. When I have... Like citrusy teas, I kind of don't want them to be sweet. We had a sour, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want them to be more sour or than sweet. Bitter or dry. Yeah, it's good though. It is. Just nice. don't. I would. I would say it's one of those teas that's just good with being left in hot water for a bit. Let the flavor pop out by its own. Not a lot of sugar or milk or anything like that. But yeah. Yeah, well, I good. wouldn't add milk, but okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't no, really no. add milk to citrus teas either. No. Although I have added milk to like Sprite before. Wait, were we talking about Sprite now? And why would you add milk and Sprite? I don't. But don't be uh, like that because you've added. I know that you had the Coke with the milk before. Yeah, and it I was a terrible that, decision. Or was it? It wasn't that a good idea. No. I already. Don't like drinking dairy super much nowadays. Really? Yeah, I don't. It really... Dairy sends me to the toilet. Okay, but does it send you to the toilet in a bad way? Uh, too much of it. Too much milk definitely would ruin me. You know, I, I make jokes about this every time okay, I eat ice cream. Okay, but too much milk? Kim, just enough milk in... Like, okay, you have a bowl of cereal... And say, I pour just milk in it and mix it and eat that. That's too much milk. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Do you only... Okay, how do you make cereal? <laughs> this is gone. <laughs> what is this? Okay, okay. How do I make do cereal? You, you just said that you poured the milk into the, the cereal. the milk into the cereal. That's if I don't want the cereal to be, like, warm. Well, I don't do that in the first place. 
I normally I have cereal. I add some milk to it. That is one way to do it. The way I do it, I that my might water. be hearsay. Some people, I add milk, a little bit of milk, and then I add hot water. Right. Yeah, I do that if I want my cereal to be hot. Conversely, you could also just heat up your milk on the stove top or whatever or microwave and then add it to your cereal if you want it to be... Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. But either way, milk for me has... You know, since I entered my 20s, it's been a struggle to drink a lot of it. Or like, really? You know, it definitely... I know it's milk that sends me to the toilet super hard. It's not... No, no contest. It's definitely... I think I'm lactose intolerant at a point. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Or I, I just I can't handle fine. it. I can't. Um, like, I know it's milk. It ruins me. <laughs> well... I can still use it in things, but just drinking it pure... Like, if I know that I want to go to the bathroom, I just drink milk. Because I know it's going to get oh, me to the well, bathroom. See, I used to do that with the ice cream because I thought that the ice cream is what was sending me to the bathroom. And I used to I used to have good poops. Ice cream does the same thing. But it doesn't do it anymore, so I just give up. I was you like, you're me. not working anymore? It's like my system got used to the ice cream. It's all <laughs> like, ha ha, I see. I see the pattern now. It's all like, I'm never going to help you again. You should just eat oatmeal. That's what I do. Yeah, I do that. Get yourself regular. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work, Christopher. Anyways. This, Anyhow, this, this sir. We're talking about taking dumps. Taking dumps are part of life and death. I mean, well. Speaking life. of life and death, did you see the news that Jojo Part 6 is coming out soon? What does that have to do with life and death? Because life and death and stands is all Jojo was all about. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let that transition go. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Part six. It's with the lady, the girl, the, the girl. guy's daughter. Yes. What's his name? Uh, Jotaro. Right, right. The Star one that says daughter. yare yare da se. Mm -hmm. Right, right. This is kind of the official end of. The the Joe Stars Sega in this um, part of JoJo. There's two parts after it, mm -hmm. but the way how it, I think it originally went was the other series part seven was supposed to be a different series, but eventually it got tied back into being part of JoJo's, and but it takes place in an alternate universe. It's a completely oh, different That's the one universe. after this one, though. Yeah, that's the one after this one. Okay. Part six just wraps up all... Well, it ends part one, two, six. All of that stuff comes to a head and stuff. But it's cool. The only um, mainline female Jojo... Not the only female Jojo, but mainline Jojo. It should be interesting. It takes place in Florida. So. I saw that. Yeah. I was all like, yeah, we in the Florida. <clears throat> boop, boop. But it takes place in the past, doesn't it? Um, Because it takes place in, not in the past. Actually, it's 2011 it's 2011. Or something. When, no, when it whenever is. it takes place, it's 2011. Yeah, yeah, it's 2011. Yeah. Then it goes back to the past again in part 7. And then part 8 is also modern day. So yeah, look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. About time. You want any other news or something? <laughs> looking at me really. I don't have any news. Do you have any news? Not Anything really. that you've been doing recently? Well, I've been reading a few weird things, I guess. What have you been reading? Uh, I caught up on Twin Star Exorcist after all these years of it being out and me just Never really catching up on it. It's okay. That's all I could really say wow, about it. Is that all? It's okay. Yeah, I have. No, I'm not even gonna go in. It's it's an okay, good manga. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I 
uh, also started something called Queen Cecius Shorts. A uh, person dies, uh, a seamstress. Mm-hmm. She dies. She goes to this world and realizes it's kind of like when before the Renaissance period type of clothing with like okay. puffy, uncomfortable corsets, that type of shit. Okay. The puffy, like type of clothing or men and like royalty. Yeah, yeah. And she. Like 100 layers of petticoat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So her whole thing is she's going to find the biggest um, store that has, like, clothing store Mm -hmm. and try to join up with them and, well, make modern-ish clothes or, but more or less, comfortable clothes. Comfortable, affordable clothes. Okay. And through hijinks, she ends up working for the queen. She's pretending to also be a man. (coughs) What? Why? Well... It has to do with that the time period that they're in that men are more respected and stuff like that. You know, it's that type of kind of society. Even though the queen is the one who took control of literally ninety nine kingdoms in the world, there's still you know, how people view viewpoints on how all no a woman can't do this she can't do that that type of thing so um, the guy that she ends up working for is like you should probably pretend to be a guy you gain respect easier that way and you can you can claim instead of going through me to claim your success you can claim your success on, on your, your own. own right so over time she builds a repertoire she goes to where the queen is and she creates a nice dress the queen loves it but she st- still has to like wear corsets because like she says she's still the queen and people don't like change that's the discussion that she have she's realizing that she's having feeling for another guy there overall it's Is interesting it okay. it's it's interesting and it's it's pretty good i think it's pretty good i i like the whole she's pretending to be a She's pretending to be a good guy, but she's dropping a lot of, like, modern 21st century type of wisdom. Anyways, it's pretty good, and I like it. It's still going on, and I'm looking forward to new chapters. What are you reading? Um, reading. Or well, watching, or whatever. Um, have you caught up on City of Dead Saucer? No. It's been forever. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm saying is... Did you read the latest chapter? No. The All the latest chapters. Have, I haven't no, no, no. read City of the Dead Sorcerer in like a okay, year. Okay, no. There are like 203 chapters right now. I didn't know there were chapters past like 170. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All you right, can spoil so... stuff for me for that. Are you Don't, certain? I'm not going to do This is issue. something... Here's, here's the thing. When I read... I can't spoil it for you. Go ahead. When I read the part, though, it was not even a big deal when I read it. It felt like, oh, okay. But it is, like, a big part. It is, is it, it really is a huge um, development, I feel. I have to reread that series because I am completely lost. Don't worry, don't worry. Just, I mean. (sighs) Just spoil it. I can't. <laughs> I can't for real. Okay. But okay, let's move on to something else that I read that you don't read. Um How to Fight. Remember I told you about uh, how to fight? Yes, many times. There's only one thing that happened recently that I was upset about. I'm not gonna say what the story is about because you already know and if nobody knows, well not my business. Now <laughs> recently though, I couldn't believe that let's call them the antagonist at this time would use his mother christopher they would use his kind of she's in a hostage let me guess this is this is a this is a for the moment you mentioned how to fight and i know it's korean and it's like he's going to have his family or girlfriend or sister or aunt or 
some close female character is going to be in danger or held hostage. Okay, or so it wasn't exactly that. It has to do by with somebody. The contract she and she signed a contract. So that they didn't read, of course. This is the thing with people, you know. Then they always. I'm not saying that this is what she saw. But she was probably like, oh, you know, she can do for her son. And since she was like, you know, worried that he was getting all of this money from streaming and stuff too. Uh You know, she wasn't sure even what it is that he is exactly So she didn't speak to her son about what he was doing? No, she told him... Oh, um, like not to do whatever he's saying. doing that she'll get a job anyhow. So she got a job. It ended uh-huh. up being with this uh, the antagonist oh, and no, uh, of course. Anyhow, the contract had in something about if you decide to, you know what is it? Quit. Yeah. That. that you have to pay like this um too much money. Too much money. They had really? a lot of zeros. And that's part of the law. Well, when you sign stuff, yeah. So, what job was she doing that she was is so also important? doing streaming? Okay, you, <laughs> you have to quit? see it to feel the the anger about it. What type of streaming was she? In doing? any case, and it wasn't even with that. It was with a guy that he had previously beat up. Ah, uh, I'll tell you what <sighs> I've heard from other people about how to fight. I don't want to hear what you heard. People told me that it's like. It starts off good, and it descends into mediocrity later. Is that so? Yes. That's what I've been told about how to fight. Well, I am still enjoying it now. I don't think that it's mediocre, right? Okay. No, at all. I trust your opinion on that. No, I don't, you don't have to trust me. I don't even care what other people say. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this is how I feel about it. I like it when I first read it. But? And I like... It. No. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I think the opinions that you've heard from other people, you're trying to I was just, dilute my opinion. I'm not diluting right now. your opinion. But I liked it then, and I like it now. And then was only last year, a couple of months. <laughs> so, I I like it, though. I, I haven't felt like it's all oh, um, excuse me. mediocre. Maybe the story is a story that you've seen before. You yeah. know, a boy gets bullied, he fights back. But it's, you should read I think Holy it's Land. Good. You should read Holy Land. It really is some good choreog- fight choreography and bully to fighter type of story. Okay, okay. The yeah. ending at the end. The ending is good, but eh. as well drama, you know, extra drama on the end with the antagonist type of nonsense. Speaking of drama, there's yeah. something that I read recently. You know Aseto Seken, right? I have no clue what that is. You know about it, but you never read but it. But I know about it, yeah. You're going to read it or not? No. Okay, good. So, recently, in one chapter, I mean, the whole story was just going okay from the beginning. It's not bad, you know. Aseto Seken, it literally translates to sweat and soap. What is it about again? It's about this guy... Who makes soap at this soap Store? place? <laughs> okay, he makes he makes he makes soaps, right? And he has like a really strong nose, and he right. deals this with the fragrances the and stuff like that. And the girl, the girl uses the soap, right, and she right. sweats a lot. Right. But right. then when he smells her, he wants to be like all up in her, and like, oh my god, you smell great. Let me smell you, kind of yeah, things, right? Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. she uses the soaps from the company, and they work at the same company. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Right. Later, they get anyone involved with each other. Blah blah blah. They're together. Anyhow, <laughs> that's not important. What's important is what happened recently which is right um so they went out for her birthday okay and he went into the store to make sure that their reservation had been set Uh right for the restaurant or whatever and she was outside waiting and this guy comes up to her and he says what does he say? Anyhow, he basically hits on her. Okay. And she doesn't, you know, okay. she's just like all there awkwardy because <laughs> she's that kind of character. Uh-huh. But it was fine. You know, whatever. Then he comes out because uh-huh. he's her boyfriend. He's all like 
stands up in front of her <laughs> and he's like you know like trying to protect her or whatever he's trying to doing and the guy the guy starts to speak english before he was speaking japanese normally to uh, her uh-huh. but he starts to speak english and says um that what how why leaving your girlfriend out here when she smells so good and earlier <laughs> Earlier in the day, no, no, earlier in the day, they had went to this <laughs> fragrance shop where they made her own fragrance okay. right, for, like, her birthday. That was his present to her to make oh, her okay. own, like, perfume. Mm-hmm. That was really great. I should do that. That's what I thought for myself, though. Who cares what other people? My own perfume. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So... The guy says that she smelled great, and he said that in English. And the boyfriend, he like understood that, and he like felt offended. But this is the part I hated. <laughs> the part <laughs> is, he obviously didn't like that she got hit on. Okay. okay. And she t- she took the guy's business card at the end, and the guy says in English to her, um, that what if you are like not interested in your boyfriend anymore come and see me so that he says that in english but neither of them can really understand the only thing that the boyfriend understood was that the english guy said that she smelled good Uh and he was all like whoo you know so for the whole rest of the day i guess he was feeling like mad or some stuff i guess right so they get back to her apartment he drops her off and he's all like no she's like picked up that he's been feeling some kind of way <laughs> and says to him are you okay what is wrong you've been feeling whatever and he's like he like blows up at her and like somehow makes it her fault that she got hit on and says to her that she Ooh. need to what no no, no, not even that wow. she says he says Mainly why did you take died. his business card mm-hmm. and I think, dude, what the f u q? Why are you freaking out? It's literally just a business card. It doesn't even matter that he's hitting on her, because people hit on people even when they're together. She is with you. You feel offended because she took his business card. She's not trying to say that she's available or she's gonna think about the guy. She just took the business card to be respectful. That's a Japanese thing in the first place. I don't know why he would freak out about it. So the main lead was cool. It was totally, listen, it's totally out of character. And then to create drama, the author decides Definitely to, the author. To make them act in a way that they have not acted and not only throughout that, the not only entire that, manga after that, for they drama. Did this like makeup sex thing and it was so <laughs> sad i was like you're all freaking kidding me right now oh i don't know what did so here's what happened the author was realized like everything is going really well with my main characters how do i insert drama i guess i'll make the characters completely irrational and stupid because That'll get people upset, right? All that does is just make me go, oh, okay. I I, I drop I drop things for that type of nonsense. Everything was going so consistent well. characters that you can then have drama introduce a situation works. Making your characters completely change all of a sudden from something that small. And behaving completely a way that they did not before, prior to this event. Well, here's here's Ruins what I think. Shit I all think the time. my idea of the male lead is that he wouldn't behave that way even in that situation. He could have just come as like, "This is my girlfriend. Can you please stop like harassing exactly. her?" Right. But not that part wasn't. Uh, I wasn't upset that is at the interaction that is between him and the guy. She's That's with not somebody. It. It's when Boy. they got back to the exactly. apartment. He t- he like tried to make it her fault. Mm-hmm. I mean, your girlfriend is good looking, and guess what? She smelled freaking good apparently <laughs> today, and she's dressed nice, and she's a cute lady. How is Who that? Who cares 
that she took his business card. Mm -hmm. She's with you. You so insecure that a business card make you feel like less of a man. So how they're gonna make the main character, main lead, um, well, thing or he's just going? I know it's a common trope in romance it stuff. It seems so for... that the two of them are still thinking about that day, so they have not really resolved it. Oh, you I would hope so because it's it going seems to be like a something, shitty thing for the main lead to do to the female lead for no reason. It was. I just wanted to punch through the screen. I was like, dude, you're not like this. This is not you. It seems like the author was, was either was told or was like, I need to add drama to this because drama sells. There's anyhow, too much anyhow, happiness. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. I have a lot of things to talk about that stuff. I have been watching. Shoot, oh, no. All of the things that I watched last season. The volleyball oh, God. one. This Sayin volleyball. I just I'm just gonna do a small review of all of them. Okay. Okay. So Sayin volleyball. Another club. sports thing. Yeah. It started off with a lot of drama, and I I didn't enjoy it in the beginning, and I just thought that one of the characters, which um one of the main characters, right, was really annoying, this. and I would complain each episode, and I said <laughs> to myself, I don't know why I'm still still watching this, but I continue to watch it all the way through because mm. that's me. Um, in the end. It was good, but there was a lot of drama, and then the pacing was like really fast. So months would go ahead, and just An two episode. episodes. It's like, ah, oh, I can't keep up with this. It was, it kind of threw me off, though. You know, drama, 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 drama. Time skip, time skip, time skip, time skip. They're all a good team and now. It only it worked in the end when they were actually playing that like the tournament. But it was it still... worth sitting through the sped up pro space and the garbage drama? If you're asking me if I would recommend it to anyone, yes. it would be a no. Okay, then okay. it wasn't Moving worth on. your time. The next thing, Tanchi Sozo Design Boo, you know, about Heaven's All Design right. I, I, Team. I that watch was that. great. I loved it. 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 For real, loved it. It was it was funny, and I got to know different things about different animals that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I think that it would be good for kids to watch. Definitely. You know, not saying that this is how the animals were actually made, but it's funny, it's and funny. they get to learn about where and an different animals live, and you know the different um capabilities of different animals and stuff like that. I thought that was fun. It was really good, really hilarious. All the characters are really great. There's, I have a favorite part. There's a part where one of the characters is like dressed up as a, a peacock and is like singing, and I'm just like, oh, that part is so hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, moving on. Anyhow, my next thing, Doctor Stone. You know Doctor okay. Stone. This yes. was the second season. I know Doctor Stone. Um, I don't read it, but I know of it. Doctor Stone. I wish that it was more episodes okay. um yeah i mean i know that they're getting a third season mm -hmm. but i wish that they had more stuff happen um at the end though i like that they froze that guy they basically did um what do you call it cryo cryostasis yes yes because he was dying they basically did that. They put him in a refrigerator. Great! In the stone world. Uh-huh. I don't... I know Dr. Stone is Are you going to talk about if it's accurate? Oh, and no. I don't, can don't be done, expect actually. that shit to be accurate at don't all. Don't be like that. Anything is possible. I read the first, up. like, volume or two. And I was... This is years ago. Years ago. This is back before it blew up and got big... I read the first two volumes, and that was all that they had. And I was like, this has potential to either flop or be really good. But I wasn't interested. I like it. It's good. I heard it gets better past the intro stages that I read up to, so that's good. And it's a testament to the good writing and the fantastic art. Oh, did I tell you what my favorite thing is? I love how their, their eyes <clears throat> look. Excuse me. I love their eyes. They look like real eyes and their teeth. Okay. No, no, no. This is important. 
their teeth look real. Okay. You understand? <sighs> you don't, don't understand. Know. And their eyes, like sometimes when it's an emotional scene and their eyes gloss over before crying. Oh, just, it's so wonderfully the other author, animated. The author's I love other how work, it looks. But the artist's other work uh, sunk, sunken rock. Even though I hate the ending of it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. You talked about this. We enjoyed it. Jujutsu Kaisen. Ah, oh, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen. Okay, okay, okay. There's nothing to say about Jujutsu Kaisen, is there? I can't wait to buy the OST in a few weeks. Uh, it comes out on April the 21st. Do you really think it's that good? Yes. <laughs> What do you mean if I think it was that good? I like most of the tracks in that song. And that one particular track that everybody likes, that when it draw. I don't think you need to buy it, really. I'm going to get You can listen to it songs. for free on Spotify. I'm going to get Unless you're one of those people who likes to own their own music. Yes. I mean, I'm one of those people too, but you know. Yes. Anyhow, I've been really into Spotify lately, so. Yeah. Um... I want to have it so I can listen to it. Even if I'm not in like a Wi-Fi or on the internet or whatever environment, it's more it's easier for me. What else you got on that list? Uh, I have Kai Biori Ya Ramune. What is that? It's about a mysterious disease doctor. Okay. Um, is it good? Was it good? It's. <laughs> It's a food anime parading as a medical one. Oh. Okay? <laughs> I get listen, you. listen, listen. This is how it is. The girl, the first episode, the girl cries condiments, right? So her tears are like <laughs> okay, soy sauce and mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup and, and ponzu and miso. and Okay. Okay, that's weird. And then the it's next guy... Odd. I can't remember. But other people, one of the guys, his his penis turns into chikua. And then what? one guy has Stop. chili peppers as his what finger. What is chikua? It's a thing that people eat. What is... Why? And his pen... Okay, continue. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, guy's fingers. See. Chili peppers as okay. his fingers. And just a whole bunch of different things. So people are turning into food. Right. No, it's not like that. They have, this is what it is, actually. A lot of built up stress from things that people would not say to other people or would not do. Anyhow, it's stress that comes out in a weird way. Okay. And the main character is the doctor who deals with all of these mysterious diseases. You know, I thought it was, I thought it was nice, but it was just like, all of Odd. these mysterious diseases turn parts of you. Oh, a lady had her ear turn into gyoza. <sighs> there was just a lot of things happening. It feels very odd. It is odd. It's, it's about food. Yes, <laughs> people turning into food. Can they eat the things that they turn? Ah, that's a good one. And is that cannibalism? Listen. That's a good one. <laughs> one of the guys who is the friend of the doctor's assistant. The assistant goes to school. He's in high school. And his friend, his his ideas were turned into popcorn. And the remedy was that he should eat them in the end. Anyhow. Um, his ideas were turned into popcorn. Let me tell you why. It's because he's really creative and his father tried to stop him from, you know, doing all of the stuff that he was into. Telling him Typical. that his mother ended up in the hospital because he was making all of this weird stuff. <sighs> but he's just really an artistic person. Anyhow. Yeah. Moving on, moving on. Uh, yeah, Sokun or Neverland. Yeah. Oh, we have to talk of our long period about that. Do we? Okay. Well, let me just tell you. We had a mini talk before. Yes, we did. And yeah, so could no Neverland get changed from how it is in the manga. Indeed. Um, the ending is just a whole no. After what the three of them name? What the three of them name? Ray, Norman, Ray, Norman and Emma. 
Emma. Her name mm-hmm. is Emma. I nearly called her Ella. <laughs> Emma, after they send the other kids and the mothers through to the human world, um, you know, there's just like a collage of images of all the different things that they did and how time passed. <laughs> um, and then it's over when they come back to the human world after that. That's what happened. The fucking cowards. Oh, also, and the actual author, because the author apparently when... worked on it, cut out a whole bunch of shit because the manga went to shit so fucking bad after, like, the first Did arc. Did it? I think I remember Kim... you talking about how great it was. The first arc of uh, Promised Neverland is a 10 mm-hmm. out of 10. It is fantastically crafted, and it's an, and it's interesting, and it has stakes, and it makes you feel for the characters. Everything after that is a slow chipping down of everything good that was built up. That was built up in the first part. There are the secondary arts, and I guess Goldie Pond is an art that you hear people talk about, where uh, the monsters hunt kids. For like game, so they have to survive there. So that's also another huge art that people like. No, that didn't happen. That did not happen in the anime. It also missed on introducing one of the people's fan favorites, um, monsters. Uh, I can't remember if he was a count or a dupe, but people liked him because he was actually kind of cool. Up. Didn't show up. Whoever that is. Did you? Did you ever talk there. about the queen or no, how no, no, royalty no. works in the this town? The queen was mentioned once in the end. Did where... they talk about the mysterious being dude who? <laughs> no. His name Whoever shows up are you as talking weird about? Swiggles. If you say mysterious being, being, no, no. Yeah, because what happened in the manga is instead of <sighs> man. It's like the author had a good idea in the beginning and could not, did not know how to actually follow through with it. Mm-hmm. And for some reason was afraid to kill off children or characters uh... or whatever. When truthfully in this world, they would have fucking died. Potential. This thing, <laughs> this is one of those things where I read it through each mm-hmm. week. I read it through and everything. And I slowly watch the potential and in, and my interest for the thing slowly die. And my hatred for characters grow. Wow. Emma becomes Emma the most becomes, insufferable, right, exactly. annoying when you piece say of shit hatred, character. Not exactly hate, but no, she she wants everything that she wants. And it's it's kind of... Terrible. Yeah, yeah. She's like that selfish character. It's like, Who I want to like, save all of my yeah, brothers yeah, yeah, and yeah. sisters, and I want to save the, the demons as, as well, well right. because they're bad, and they're also suffering. And I'm like, and then there's this demon girl, her blood can fix right, right, everything right. fine, look at the split. And then at the end, she meets the, the head demon dude. And all he does is takes her memories. This is what happens in the manga. That did not happen in and the anime. Everybody gets sent away. She makes a deal with him and she gets her memories taken away, but she also ends up somewhere else in the human world. Did not happen in the So anime. they all end up in different places and she ends up being with like an old man and she doesn't know who she is and she lives with him for a bit. And then guess what? They're walking through town one day and they come across her and they meet and they meet up. And that's did not ends. happen in the it's anime. It's fucking terrible. I hate... I hate everything about... After, <laughs> after, it's, after, it, after it went from being these super smart kids trying to figure out what's going on, actually going on, and then they figure it out, it kind of gets boring. And then they get guns, and then the demons start dropping left, right, and center and start being a trek. No, that did not then happen. Then they fight the queen, and the queen is like, I'm the most OP thing ever. She gets killed too. This Easy. did not happen. I mean, it might have in the collage of things that happened it's to the so end. I didn't bad. really understand. And then I hear that Norman shows up super early again in the fucking show. What did anyone thought... tell you that? It wasn't early. It was half midway through <laughs> when he showed up. <sighs> Whatever. From what I've heard, seen, and 
understand about that production they were like the manga didn't do super good so we're just and it doesn't make sense pumping out a whole two other seasons because this is no longer in publication it's no longer a popular manga that's being in jump so instead of pumping out things I think maybe you're just gonna do a quick season don't forget the author is actually working alongside with the, the company as well so apparently had insight on what to cut and what to put where so it's just here's the season it ends the series blah 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 if you are somebody who only watched the anime you're not going to be impressed and if you're somebody who read the manga you're not going to give a fuck of that garbage but yeah I'm okay done. then <laughs> um moving on yes x arm it was X Arm. I watched X Arm. Um, all I have to say is that I that am garbage. All really the sorry for the fans of the manga. Yeah. That... And the authors and the artists. Well, they would have seen it and okayed it. I don't they? think they saw it or okayed it. You know how you know how manga works in anime. If production they didn't, is then they're the suing. You can't you sue. Think? They don't like super own the rights. You know that type of thing. That's not how it works. <sighs> this okay. This is how it works. The company owns the rights to make. To, they, the company sends out the right, sells the rights to somebody to make the animation. That's what they did here, and the team that picked it up was a cheap new team who had barely any experience, and there was um, no oversight okay. I by don't the know actual owners just of selling the rights IP. like that. I don't think that's how it works. The <sighs> author. Has a right a to control. decline um, what it is that is sure being made. That? It's their work. <laughs> and they have their work through a publisher who controls the IP of their work. In any Not case, them. everybody got screwed. Yes. Full stop. Uh, Kimono Jihen. Now, Kimono Jihen was... What? It's not... I keep saying this about everything, but it's not a story that you've never seen before. It's not going to impress you. It's a mid-range television show. Nothing impactful happened. But what's it about? What do you mean, what it's about? What it's about? What's Kimono Hoji You know, Kimono is the monster humans. Was it good? It was mid. Like I said, (laughs) mid-range. It's not terribly bad but it's not like super interesting or new you You know it's not like a new flavor i never tasted (laughs) it's like yeah i had great before and it's not a flavor that you've already tasted done well it had a good opening and ending song (laughs) um i really liked it i really liked it if you hear it you would like it too the opening especially um but you know it was just like okay it was okay but it wasn't bad i can't like hate on it because it's it's what it is it did better than x arm <laughs> moving on <laughs> in my opinion i got you um shingeki no kyojin yes it's ending um in four this days month. from today yeah. actually manga that is yeah. um what i have to say about the anime is that uh, they could have just continued animating. They probably didn't. They shouldn't have ended. I know it's that kind it's of tease ending. thing. It's not That's not ending. what I'm saying. It's... The season. They just part tricked two. everyone though. When they it were isn't like, really a trick. It it's is. a ploy. It's a trick. To make money. They were like, you this know? is going to be the final season. And it has a certain amount of episodes. And then when it dropped, like... Part two of the final Anyhow, season. Anyhow, that's not that's not the issue that I have. I don't care that they did that. They did what it so they I have a well. problem with is that the end. The, okay, the beginning. I feel like it started high and ended low. Yes. Because, because that part where it ends, it's just. It it does, ends... I, I don't get anything any anything from it. It doesn't feel. From what you told Strong. me of where it ends, and as somebody who read who read her read the manga, it's when Peak and Gilliard and them come to the thing. 
That because what's what happening? Call that place. I'm paradise. Right. <laughs> Parody. Yeah, whatever. Right. Because what's happening is that the way how they structured it is the arc, the the anime is ending at a new arc beginning. Understood. So and the new arc beginning is kind of low and then it ramps up for what's going to happen. So that's what's happening. That's why if you it's okay. ending low, but it's ending because it's not. There's nowhere, there's no hard, big, explosive event that's going to happen because I it's mean, ending in the middle of a season. He did explode, Erin, and, <laughs> and Gilead came out of the ground, and, and then you see the, the Marlanes come over and the blimps and everything. And I guess that is like, whoa, oh my gosh. But I didn't feel like it was, I was like, yeah, I kind of knew this was going to happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was looking for something more. I need to read the rest of the manga whenever the volumes come out. I well, have to know. Do avoid... that and tell me how it ends. I have to know. Avoid people spoiling the last chapter for a while now. Uh, I think you should start reading now. Yeah, I'll get what I need to get together. Uh, then. next thing is Wonder Egg Priority. I did not watch that past the first. Episode. This is what I have to say about Wonder Egg Priority. So apparently, the production had issues in their scheduling and the reason why they had an episode eight which was a recap is because they would not have um they weren't ready basically with the actual next episode so it was like an episode of people just talking oh this is what happened in the next episode (laughs) who cares um yeah i feel really bad about that because the last episode is actually scheduled to come out in june or july or something like that so the show is ended, but they're calling it a special episode, and we're that all like, ends "The show, uh huh." But was I it feel... any? Was it worth your time watching that? The animation was good. It's pretty. The but... the story, oh, <sighs> okay. The story if I... was weak. I could tell that from the first. This episode. this is how it ended up. They spent too much time talking about the the issues. I think that the girls have, right? And if they were going to do that, they should at least have an opinion on it, like abuse or gender identity or whatever. They should actually have something to say about it instead of just just, saying that it exists. Right? (laughs) That's what they did? Yeah. And then they had all these stories about the different girls, and I felt like that went on for like six episodes, and we only these started to get like real developments in the last like three episodes of actual why it feels like that the girls are um you know all turning to suicide and what this other like world is and stuff right would you say the pacing was terrible then yeah in my opinion it was i would have liked and I think that it would have done better. We wouldn't feel so, um, what is it, confused at this part. Mm-hmm. And because we would have like most of the information if it was introduced in those episodes as well. I get that they were trying to introduce each character separately and then talk about the different issues that they have, mm-hmm. but they should also have introduced the the what is it that underlying information that we really needed that would progress that the story would need to to feel um some kind of substance to it (laughs) because if not it's just a magic girls fighting anime Uh. all the other like sci-fi stuff that actually happened is only introduced, like I said, in the last three episodes. Mm-hmm. And then in the very last episode, it's it's just confusing. <laughs> there's nothing to think about it. Um, yeah, there's just nothing confusing. to think about it. I don't even think about it. Like, what is it about? Because I've moved, you know? It I was pretty. On. It said some things, but it didn't really say it anything. It didn't say anything. No, it said some things, but it didn't say anything. That's what I just said. Yeah. It didn't say anything. Um. Yeah. I think it was... What did you say earlier? Potential? Yeah. Wasted? Yeah. Yeah. 
Anyway, we'll see in the very last episode in a combo of months. Um, yeah. Oh, Skate the Infinity, the skating anime that I watched. I have no idea what that's about. It's about skating. I just said it. It's about skating to infinity. How is that possible mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. a human being? Be over there, all cute like that. <laughs> Say like that. Anyhow, I liked it. But there's one part that I didn't like. Which is? The character. So the main, one of the main characters' name is Reki. And I okay. feel like he never, in my opinion, the way how he was depicted over the first couple of episodes, he would never be all like feeling inferior to the other guy who came along because he was all like this jovial happy guy loving skating always had this passion but they made his character in such a way later on that he felt like this jealousy and inferiority towards the other guy who came along it was like he wouldn't, like he wouldn't feel this way. He has a passion for skating and he loves to learn different tricks and stuff like this. And y'all are telling me that he's jealous of this noob guy? No, he would embrace this, is my opinion on his oh, character. Okay. And I just felt like blindsided by that um, drama that happened. Yeah, it was unnecessary drama in my opinion. <laughs> Gotta have drama, Kimberly. I was all like, this would never happen. My baby would never. <laughs> Your baby. <laughs> he would never feel this way. And he was all like depressed and I just couldn't see him this way. <laughs> and I just like, no, no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. I'm telling you. He would take this in stride. Exactly. That's how... That's how the character seemed in the beginning. Mm. Anyway, I guess you can't tell how a person is. <laughs> the last anime is World Trigger. Ah, yes. They ended at that part. It's too short. I needed more World Trigger. <sighs> I always need World Trigger in my life. I Dude, love World Trigger. The way how World Trigger has come <sighs> out as a manga, they're probably... We're like, we need to cut back because we ain't got nothing for next season. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and they're like, we want to keep this as something showing since the manga is still ongoing. We don't want to have that big break in the years again, I Listen, guess. Listen, it doesn't even matter. Do you remember the first season was like 70 episodes? If we and just 10 minus of those, those were like, right, minus were, that, that was garbage. Even all that they gave us, because I think. World Trigger was actually extended. Even that first season was not enough. Yeah, well, you know, I just, I just really like World Trigger. I like it too. Yeah, that's how it's. I funny. like the character growth of all of the characters, especially our main ones. It's great. Anyhow, <laughs> next season should be fucking awesome. You though. know what I really like? I like everybody. Yeah. I love stories where it's not just we don't focus on the main people and we don't just have extras. We have a whole Cast. range of different characters and different looks and everybody's got different, different stories mindsets. and mindsets and all the different things. Oh, I just I just love I love stuff like that. I it think that's why I end up remember. watching shows with a big cast. Yeah. And uh, the funny thing too is because the manga is goes super hard into that because there's even more team up stuff now. I and love they're that. Cha- they're changing whole teams of work now in the manga and different character, so different characters have no work with different people in different teams now. Mm-hmm. And I just remember people by their faces because I can't remember all the names Me anymore. Neither. That's the good part. You were like <laughs> that guy. Oh my god. Him, like, yeah, that. I like that guy. I like that girl too. Oh yeah, she's the one who did the thing. Exactly, like, the one with the, the scores. You know? <laughs> exactly, the one with the eyebrows. The one with that sword technique. Exactly, thing. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> but yeah, World uh, Trigger is great. Isn't it? I think I'm going to read it also. I can never have enough World Trigger. Man, it comes out. Sometimes, what was happening at one point was that the author was putting out two chapters per month. So that's like, it was it was good. But I don't know, the author 
drops back and forth because of um, like you know health reasons and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's originally why it took so long for them to get enough content to put out this, a second season. Uh, but there should, there's definitely enough content for a whole third season currently. Great. But if I'm another really season looking after forward that, to I'm it. Not sure. Yeah, me too. Because for I've been talking for a while now, and I still have things to <laughs> talk about. But do you have anything to say? Not really. Great. Because... Let's move on to my next thing. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, what's the next thing you want to My talk next about? thing, there are only these last three things. Okay. My next two things are about these two Korean dramas that I'm watching <sighs> recently. Okay? Oh the first God. one I'm going to talk about is Bin Chin Oh my God. Okay? What is it about? Do I need to tell you what it's about? Yes. It's you very do. frustrating. Let me find a summary. Let me just don't, find I, a summary. I'm not good at describing things, you know? What is. Vincenzo even mean? Uh, seriously? It's just a name. (laughs) (laughs) It's his name. What the heck? I have to say, I hate that about, like, when... It's the same thing for when uh, English English people just name something from foreign word, sounding thing, and then you ask what it means, and they're like, we don't know. Christopher is the name. What, uh, somebody's last name? It's his first name. His name is Vincenzo Cassano. That's his Italian name. He was adopted when he was young. Anyhow, let me read it to you, okay? At the age of eight, Park Joo Hyun went to Italy after he was adopted. He is now an adult and has the name of Vincenzo Cassano. He is a lawyer who works for the mafia as a conciliere. Of course okay? he works for the mafia. Because of a war between mafia groups, he flees to South Korea. In South Korea, he gets involved with lawyer Hong Chai Young. She is the type of attorney who will do anything to win a case. Vincenzo Kasana falls in love with her. I didn't know that was in the summary. Are y'all sure y'all should say that? That hasn't really even happened yet. I mean, I kind of, but... <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. I know. You okay? He also achieves social justice by his own way. Now, I don't know if you can say that he fights for social justice of people, but... And I don't like that summary. (laughs) I don't like that summary. I should have just told you what I thought. Yeah. So this is what happened. Vincenzo, right? Yes. Italian Mm consigliere. He... um, kind of gets in a fight with his Italian brother because their father is dead now. Okay, but the Italian brother takes over mafia the the family. head of their mafia family and he flees because the brother is all like, you know, they're at odds with each other from the beginning. They weren't close, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Why was he adopted? Why? In Italian family. Because he was given up for adoption. <laughs> why do people get adopted? What is wrong with you? I mean, but why would That's the actually mafia a part family the adopt some random like Korean kid? Moving on. <laughs> don't be like that. Don't be like that. It's one of those stories. Don't where it's just, ask it questions matter. where there's clearly a hole that I cannot fill. Um, okay. Probably... So he goes back to Korea, mm-hmm. and the thing is that the reason why he came there is to get this goal right to destroy this building and to get this goal there is goal that is being held underneath a building and the reason that is there is because this chinese um like i don't know what was he guy <laughs> who was whatever he died and he had he had farm before he had like um what is it he consulted with vincenzo and his lawyer and they like put together a plan of where he could put all of his gold okay in some random gold? place where does he just sell it and get money in any case he dead so no the only people who knows where the gold is is the guy who was the lawyer and vincenzo who so was it been like illegal with. gold bullion or something like that how do they plan to like transfer it into like tender anyhow so that's why he came back right so they're all like they're gonna split it but what ended up happening is that there is a um what is it a buddhist temple has taken up residency on the the air in the 
in the plaza. Okay, because it's a plaza, the building on top of the goal. Okay. And that is where they are. Okay. The gold is under the ground. In any case, it's a comedy, and I had oh. been, I had said to myself, "Hey, this feels like one a Korean drama that I have watched before. It's called The Fiery Priest, right? Which is about a priest who has like anger management issues, and it turned out that it's the same, it's the same writer oh, okay. who wrote it. It has like." I don't know how to explain it, but it has like everything could be funny, even in a serious moment. Kind of like Gintama. I got you. Like everything we can make fun of, <laughs> kind of way. I got you. But it has obviously its serious moments, and you know, typical Korean everything is about what is it? Um, you know, you know. When it's the bad guy who 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 did like laundering, but they're the one. What do you call that? What do you call that? What? You know. Laundering. You mean yeah, like money yeah, yeah. laundering? Yeah. What do you call it though? When um, they do. Ah oh, goodness! Typical Korean story about oppressing the weak and the poor. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. <sighs> There's a word. There's a word. <sighs> I am not pulling any words from my brain right now. Anyhow, assholery. <laughs> no, no, no. This is bad. That word would be very useful. Anyways. Anyhow, so it's like that. It's a comedy. I like it. I like it because the vibes. I like the vibes. At first, I really liked the the female character. She really reminded me of the female character in the Fiery Priest, who mm-hmm. was a prosecutor, because they have like that like kind of erratic kind of <laughs> personality. Okay. Yeah, like hyper and speak fast and crazy kind of thing. Very hilarious. Anyhow. Um the next thing that I'm watching is the one that I keep running into your room after episodes <laughs> and talking about my theory <sighs> is mouse. Okay. I can toss Kim shouts at me theories. About things that I'm not watching. Okay. And no. I'm just like, mm-hmm. I am not yeah. even going to try to explain what it's about, and I'm not going to find a summary either. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what I think. Okay? <laughs> okay. So, and I'm going to know. I'm going to tell you what I want. I want that the police officer. Mm-hmm. I want him to have split personalities. I'm, I'm ah, solidified. Okay. I'm down with the split personality. If they they keep trying to do the whole brain transplant thing, and I hear you, okay. So so they're brain saying transplant. that his frontal lobe, they're saying that his frontal uh. lobe now was transplanted from the guy who they're saying was the serial killer. Who I cannot How the abandon. Fuck does brain transplants work. Shut up! Do it happened. Full sets? stop. This is not. This is not. Why do you act like that? There are so many things. Stupid. Wonder Egg, for instance. Because, Magic girls don't because, actually exist. Yes, but... Okay, it's in that world. But putting this somebody is not... else's brain inside of somebody else's brain does not... How... No, that his frontal not... lobe was damaged. Yes, but putting another they... frontal lobe in there doesn't fix it. No, they cut it, it out and removed it. I know, but putting somebody else's frontal lobe would obviously fuck up. You can't even accept this. You wouldn't still be the same person. That is what is freaking happening to him, he thinks. He is thinking How? that he is remembering the memories of the the serial killer guy. I but know. that's not what I want. I want that he is having all of these flashbacks and he's like trying to kill people and he doesn't know why. Because and he's... then he's going to... It's because this is why. He has cut off himself from that personality because of the brain damage. You understand? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I think. The brain damage was so severe, obviously. You know, he got this frontal lobe thing. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't remember who I really am. I'm a killer, but you know, I can't remember it. That. <laughs> That's what we want. We, the people, don't want it to have been the doctor. The doctor was such a cute guy. Not, not cute in looks, but you know. I don't know. Not really. He was cold. I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it either. But it's just not him. It is not the doctor. You understand me? 
<laughs> or they could have been brothers. But then it doesn't line up. But then everything is not going to line up from the beginning, you know? I really don't want it to have been the daughter. I need it to be the police officer. I want it. He, he's just seeing flashes now of, of light. And he's thinking, oh, I'm seeing... I'm seeing that guy's memories. Oh my god! And and he's like nearly killed this guy. He's thinking that he's becoming a murderer. It. But what I want is, is that he that has multiple personality him. disorder, and he actually is Jekyll and Hyde in this type of thing. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Uh, but they're going to be like, no, the brain is taking over your other. Oh, brain. not only that. I think that he is actually the farmer because they had a previous serial killer. I think he is actually his son, not the other guy who they were saying is his son. They were saying that the doctor is the son and that's how he turned out that way and it has to do with genes and having a serial killer gene and blah, 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 blah. Let's not get into it, but I'm just telling you that I think that the doctor is not the son. It's actually exactly... You I think I just I mean? died because I'm just, I'm just. You can't okay. understand. You're confused. I want to talk about something else. There's one last thing. <sighs> Is it the same thing that I have? Probably. What do you have to say? Um. <laughs> Does it begin yeah. with I? Yes. Okay, go. Cool. Okay, I'm done talking about mouse. My Jesus theory is great. Christ. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Over there, that smug look on your face. Um, invincible. Invincible. What do you think of it? Well, I'm not going to be like those people who give it a three after three episodes or whatever that was. I mean, it's not even going to be a three. It's pretty good. Pretty decent, actually. Actually, I don't understand. I know this has nothing really you to do with it. You people How do you review... A whole series after three episodes? A whole series. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to watch the whole series, watch the whole series and then review it. Yeah. Um, if you're not going to watch the whole thing, then don't review it or rate it. It mm. kind of it doesn't just, make any sense. It happens. It's no, like no. you don't you don't have all the information, but you filled in the form anyway. But they're clearly blanks, or you just guess. I can understand being like, I watched the first three episodes. I'm not interested in it. Blah blah blah. blah. Here's why I'm not interested in it, and that could be a review for some people. But, eh, you know how people are. It's all about being first and getting your opinion. First! But Second! I like Invincible, though. <laughs> I, I like it, too. It's pretty good. I like the main character, Mark. He's a weirdo, in he's a way. He's awkward. not weird, but he's awkward. He makes he's an awkward me cringe. Teen. Yeah, but he we've makes... all been there. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of the girl from Watamote. Who ah, feels well, not embarrassing that and thing. awkward and cringy, and I'm just like, oh, Mark, no. <laughs> it's like, don't, don't say that, and then say something properly, and you're stuttering all over yourself, Mark, Mark. It's great. Don't be you. <laughs> you know, really? he made me cringe like that. It's good though. I like the show. I like the whole. I like his Super dad. Good. I like, like the teaching dad him, character. And I actually even like though he's the, the murderer. His parent. <laughs> I, I want to. It really is interesting. The whole mystery going on with the murders and stuff like that. You want it to be that he was controlled. I, it would be cliche, but at the same time, I would understand in a super. This is it was what something this common. Is, I have a cynical theory. Worlds. You want to hear it? I actually have a theory as well. I have a cynical theory. Go ahead. It's like. I'm going to kill all the superheroes so that my son can shine. Okay, that's kind of basic. basic no, it isn't. Theory. Here's what I think it is. I have as someone, I haven't, I've never read the comics. I haven't seen anything about what went down with them. Okay, neither I've been have avoiding, I. Right? But the father talked about how he was sent to the planet by his people and they help other planets and elevate them. Oh, I have another stuff, theory now that you said that. Right? Go ahead. I was thinking, what if it's more sinister than that? What if he was expelled what, or something? No. What if what Viltrumites do is that they send somebody out a take super over. to take over? Or to slowly, over time, they something in their brain, they activate something to 
he killed off all the the strongest heroes and he's essentially the strongest hero now okay but then when maybe he was... an invasion for Viltrumites might come because all we all we've seen of Viltrum I know of Viltrum is from his point of view right like, no oh, one seems to the really good know guys. about them not even the Martians exactly. the Martian King was like I am the devil of my one after he asked him what, if he knows about Viltrumites of course I know what you are and then the guy he didn't him say shrugs. that he knows <laughs> He's pretending. Yes, he, he doesn't is. really know. And oh, the latest episode of Marsha. I quite, I like, I like Invincible. Me too. It's great. It's fun. Yeah, Enjoyable. Yeah. It has all the superhero tropes, but, but I do like, I like the main character. How could yeah, it know. be that he is just trying to be the strongest guy? He doesn't I mean, even want to be a part of. Listen to what I just said. He killed off some of Earth's strongest heroes. Who's going to defend them? Him. He's the strongest hero now. But he and didn't that can even... listen. That can lead away for a Viltrum invasion. I'm saying that he might be under control or being controlled by Viltrum themselves. He didn't even. He when got he rid of his people wife who were in stopped. Paris. He didn't even try to. Well, he, like he said, I'm on vacation. vacation. Let the GDA do their job. There are okay. other heroes in the world. Like if seriously, if you were a superhero and you take a vacation and some bullshit happens, I'll happen, make sure that I cannot <laughs> be reached. <laughs> exactly, and I'm on vacation with my wife. Fuck that noise. Let somebody else deal with that. <laughs> I am completely off. Exactly. There will be no reaching me. The world could have ended, and then when my vacation's over, I will find out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I like the the art style isn't anything. Amazing, I would say. It's like normal others, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like young. The voice cast is fantastic, though. I can tell. I know all those voice actors for every character in that show. Everything they just said. Yeah. Young Justice, Batman. They're the Justice League. Everybody. Yeah. And just some common actors that I know as well too. It's great. I'm looking forward to continuing to watch it and see where it goes. And when it finished. Then I might pick up the comics. Oh, I hope Amber doesn't die. Who? Oh. Uh, I mean, I think the mom more likely is... I'm thinking she might die. I hope he doesn't end up with the redhead. Oh, her? Eh, who knows? No, no, it's not a who knows situation. I feel she's going to die, though. She, That'll be okay. The redhead? I, <laughs> I don't think she'll die, though. Oh, you know what? I'm worried about I said his this mom before, but she and has the redhead. a great handle on her powers. I know superheroes are supposed to be like that, but of the f- couple that we've seen, the girl, the girl with the red hair, whose name I can't remember. I know who you mean. Is yeah, it... it's Eve. Eve, Kimberly. Atom Eve. Yeah, right. I really like how she can use her powers, you know, and turn them into different things. Yes. It's amazing. It's I love okay. her power. It's okay. Is it a power or ability? Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. It's the same thing when you really think about that. Yeah. yeah. He should have and just robot told Amber. And his shenanigans. Yeah, he should have just told her that he's a superhero. He should have been all like, but Eve I'm was... going to Mars and then zoom off. But Eve was like, if you tell somebody your secret identity, you should probably be serious about them. He bought her a chest <laughs> that cost eight hundred dollars. That doesn't really. That say sounds anything. real serious. Also, he was eating up her face. <laughs> that looks real serious. I mean, come I mean, on. he's a teenager. This, like, this what is you what it feels like. It feels like he's keeping his his options open, which I, mean, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. That's what you do. <laughs> It's true, but I don't <laughs> like to see when someone else is doing it. <laughs> what is this it makes me girl? hate it. Anyways, oh. yeah. I'm looking forward to continue to watch Invincible. It's pretty good. I actually like that the runtime is like 40 or so minutes per episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives yeah. you a lot of content and it feels... I don't feel annoyed with with like, oh, I didn't get enough out of episode. Right, you get right. a lot of information, you see a whole bunch of stuff, and it works. There are two other things I really like. I really like when the logo comes in. It's always because someone's <laughs> about to say Invincible, <laughs> and yeah. it just comes and in and comes with the in, blood splatters. And it keeps cracking and getting blood splatters Yeah, all I'm over thinking it. it'll be drenched in blood by the end. Yes. 
and I like the music selection as well. Mm. It <laughs> feels here's what it is. It doesn't feel like I'm watching some superhero cartoon. It feels like I'm watching some like live action something. I got you. you I, I didn't really like the music whenever Atom Eve is on screen is always some pulpy pop happy music. It doesn't have music. to be her music. The other music is good though. Yeah, yeah the music is good. It's fine. <sighs> anyway. I like it. I like it. I, I hope it, it doesn't well. disappoint me. In the end. I don't think it's gonna disappoint. I think it's gonna kill everyone, but I'm going to find out some spoiler and tell Christopher. Don't do that. I know you don't care about spoilers, but I do. I'm going to find out some spoiler and tell myself. <laughs> and then you can be looking at me being angry that something didn't happen that you wanted to happen. Don't <sighs> spoil yourself. Do that after the show was ran. Remember we did that after we watched um, The Boys and found out a whole bunch of weird shit? Especially with like, mother's milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was weird. It was a great time. A lot of enlightenment <sighs> happened then. Um, Anywho, when is that coming back? I uh, think next year. Oh, okay. Or year after. I don't know with COVID and all that going on. Who knows? Anyhow, sir. Yeah. Is that it? That is it. Okay. Yeah, internet. This was our. Um. What was this? <laughs> it was. What we were doing recently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we have nothing else for you. We have nothing else for you, Internet. Okay. Have a good day. Good night, everyone.